Everybody want to know, is, is Ghost really there, bro? Why they, and why they want to know, Fred? But whatever has happened to this character Ghost, whether he's dead or still alive, <laughs> how about that, Fred? What's up, Power fans of YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about Omari's interview on the pivot, especially on how he answered the question, is Ghost really dead? I will break his answers down for you so you can also share your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now, as usual, let's get straight into business. Now, Omari, as we all know, as Ghost thanks to power, had a conversation on the pivot and his first question was, and I quote, Everybody want to know, is, is Ghost really dead, bro? This question, in my opinion, is a straightforward question that needs a straightforward answer. But his first response was, why they, And why they want to know, Fred? Then the conversation went off all round. He answered though, but before we come to his answer, let me talk about his first reaction to the question. I know if this question was posed to fans who believe Ghost is dead, their answers will be yes. Their reason will be that, Courtney Kemp said Ghost is dead on IG several times, and so it's over for Ghost, but yet Omari couldn't just answer yes to the same question if indeed it is conclusive that Ghost is dead. Now, let's consider this situation. For instance, I love Michael Jackson. I've been a fan from childhood. Now, if I ask you, is Michael Jackson really dead? What will your answer be? Definitely yes, right? My question is, why do you think Michael Jackson is dead? Because there was a funeral. Yes. Did you see the body? No. Was there an open casket to the public? No. But yet, you are able to answer the question, is Michael Jackson really dead? As yes, right? I know Michael Jackson has nothing to do with power because that was real life. But let's just oppose Michael Jackson's situation to ghosts hypothetically. There was an impression created that Ghost is dead at the last scene, right? We saw a burial, yes. Closed casket, yes. Not even the family members confirmed that that was Ghost, no. Finally, there was a burial, yes. Fast forward, the man who played this character was asked if Ghost is really dead or not. The answer yes or no was missing in his submission. Yet, People say the showrunner herself admitted Ghost is dead. Now, doesn't this feel like there is a huge restriction on Omari and any other character in the series? Because not even Tommy, Tasha, nor Tariq, you name it, can answer the same question with just one word, yes or no. With all being said, let me know in the comment section your thoughts on why Omari couldn't simply answer the question with a yes or no, if indeed it is conclusive that Ghost is dead. Now, I want to draw your attention to something significant. Now, in movies or TV shows, they use music or score for a lot of reasons. If you remember, Courtney said we should pay attention to the song that was used at the scene where Efe came back to sleep by Tariq that night Lauren was killed. She also added that the song was used on purpose and we should pay attention to the lyrics. It will give us an idea whether Efe killed Lauren or Lauren is still alive or dead. Now, when I think about why they use this particular song of Jacob Banks, Monster, if you pay attention to the lyrics, Pat says, they made a monster out of me. They won't see me when I'm coming. I'll be the monster they will be wanting, etc. Now, if you just oppose this with how Tommy described Ghost to Harley that no one sees him coming or going, hence the name Ghost, then you will agree with me that if Ghost will come back, you and I will not see it coming like the song says. We knew this guy Breeze when we were kids. He came up with Ghost. He said the kid had the ability to disappear. You never saw him coming, you never saw him leave. Now, Ghost occasionally has been portrayed as a monster. Even Tameka and Tariq described James and Patrick as a monster. Because he was a monster. I know he was too. Your Honor, James St. Patrick was a monster of untold proportion. Now, this same monster is what everyone wants to see come back. We all want Ghost the monster back just like the song says, I'll be the monster you'll be wanted. If you ask me, ironically, Ghost's story is deeper and more coded than we all thought and it's a matter of time before we realize power is Ghost and Ghost is power. Now, let's say a bit more on the subject after an hour of the show where Omari was asked if Ghost is really dead. 
This is how best he answered. And I quote, and by the way, because I'll never say it, but whatever has happened to this character ghost, whether he's still dead or alive, this man who played that man, which is ghost, is now hired more on Netflix. Because I won't ever say it, because I know, Fred, you don't want me to say it. But whatever has happened to this character ghost, whether he's dead or still alive, <laughs> how about that, Fred? I love it. This man who played that man. Now, did you look at Omari's expression when he was saying this? He said he would never say it. Question is, why? If he is dead and he has nothing else to do on par, saying that he's dead will not change anything again, right? But ask yourself, why would he say he will never say it? Because he has signed a confidentiality agreement with stars never to disclose the status of ghosts, whether dead or alive. So Omari is basically not saying anything we want to hear as power fans, which is whether ghost is dead or still alive. And all he said in the pivot show doesn't give a definite response to the question he was asked from the beginning. Let me know what you all think about this in the comment section. If you haven't watched the interview, I think it's on YouTube. So you can go watch the whole interview and you can relate to whatever I've said so far. I know anti-ghost fans will come hard at me as usual for always giving hope that ghost is not dead. But trust me, the day this character ghost will make a historic comeback to power, all anti-ghost fans owe me $10 each. <laughs> Now, Power Book 3 Raising Canaan starts in August. Let me know in the comments if you want me to touch on something you feel you need my opinion on. Until then, if you like this video, kindly like, share, leave your comments in the comment section, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.